Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome to my home. I'm doing an unboxing today. Uh, I, if you follow me on Instagram, that's TG from Dubai. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, I've been taking some photos using this filtering system by Benro. So it's a filter kit with a few other filters and I'm attaching it to the 16 to 35 Zeiss lens and it made a pretty good combination. But before we do some testing and before we send out some images, I wanna unbox the unit, show you what comes in the packaging, show you how to install it and uh, yeah, let's take it from there. All right, so first things first, let's rip this guy out of the box. Okay, now the best way I know how to unbox is to basically grab the boxes and just... Okay guys, we're gonna start with the actual adapter kit, the kit and the adapters and whatnot. So we have here the Benro and the FH100N comes with the holder, okay, the filter holders, and it comes with some adapter rings. This, is, this adapter ring is at 77 millimeters. I think you guys can see that right there. Okay, 77. And we have a different adapter ring here. So you got 82 millimeters right here. If you guys can see that right there. And then you got 77 millimeters. Okay, so now if you have a lens that can connect directly to the unit, then you're all good. However, in this particular case, I only have a Zeiss 72 millimeter. So this is gonna cause a problem now. So this is an 82 millimeter. So if I try to hook it up, it's not gonna work. Right? So we need a step up adapter. Step in, step up, step out, whatever they call it there. So what I decided to do is to get, it's actually I wanted to work out the worst case scenario with you guys. So I contacted the grand stores located in Dubai Mall and I got the Benro 77 to 72 millimeter step up ring, okay? So this is what it looks like. You guys can see it right there. Okay, and what I'm gonna do here now is so we're going to connect this ring to the 77 not too hard to do there you go and we're going to take the front end ring okay you spin it right on okay so here's what it looks like so far and now we have the actual filter holder now we got to hook up this filter holder the way to hook up this filter holder if you look back here there's two blue screws okay and they have like little spacers in between, if you guys can see that. So when I screw, I'm gonna tighten them back. When I, uh, when I unscrew the blue knobs right there, the little spacers space out and they give you enough room to slide in the discs. And just like that, sits right in. Gonna tighten it up a little bit. Very easy, not too hard to put on. As you can see, it only took me a few minutes. Okay, so this is how the unit looks, all connected, all hooked up. You could slide in multiple holders, which we'll do right now just to demonstrate, but you could actually remove some of these. They provide you with the Allen key. Let's go over the, uh, the whole setup here a little bit more in detail. These are called quick release knobs. Now, obviously you spin them, the whole disc pop, the whole kit comes right out. You got the calibrated scales right here and then you have the filter grooves. Now the filter grooves, these are the grooves where you actually slide in the filters, which I'm gonna do in a moment. And then you got CPL or the circular filter, which we did before, we already went over that. That's these guys right here. And yeah, so so far you have an idea of what everything is. Now let's discuss the filters. Basically, it's this guy right here. It comes in a nice little, nice little cloth envelope. You slide it right out gently try to hold it on the edges and then remember the grooves remember the little filtering grooves just grab these guys gently slide them in slowly look at it again as you can see all right so now we have a filter that can help us stop the bright light or the bright sun that's out there when we want to do long exposures during the day 
That is the benefit of having a filter kit or a filter a filtering system to prevent light from coming in when you have long exposures. During the day, sometimes you have a waterfall or sometimes you have a little, you know, a, a beautiful image just like this. Actually, I'll bring it a little closer. And you want to capture that image. You can't do that if you don't have a filtering system similar to the Benro. All right, cool. So now what if we wanted to attach another filter? Now, there are other videos out there that can give you a, a long detailed description of why you would need multiple filters. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you here how to put together multiple filters on the same unit. Now, some units only have one. And in this particular case, they provide you with an Allen key that you can have one or more than one. So if you're looking for that shot that requires more than one filter, this already comes set with one, two, three grooves or holder uh, holding positions for the filters. Holding it this way, I will put it in the grooves and I will push down slowly. And there we go. Now we have two filters on one kit and two separate holders. Taking it apart, again, very easy. Just gently from the bottom, pop it up. Okay, take out the first unit, pop out the next one, gently from the bottom. There you go, get that out of the way. Now, one important thing I forgot to point out is when you're sliding them out, you're probably wondering to yourself, well, the, you know, the plastic or the metal, this is actually metal, might scratch the glass. So if you look here, these little half circles on the bottom and the top, these are sponge pads. So when you remove the glass, it slides off gently. Not only that, it actually cleans the glass for you when you swipe it up it's wiping the glass for you. So it's cleaning the glass for you. So it's a protector, so that way it doesn't, they don't get scratched. Uh, it's a great, uh, great engineering there, great idea, great design. But let's continue on taking the rest of the unit apart, just to show you how easy it is. Again, those blue knobs, let me show it to you again. Slides right out, just like that. And then, slowly rotate this unit here. Pops right out. Simple unit, easy to put on, easy to take off, easy to work with. So again, guys, before you go out shooting, you know, make sure that you have uh, uh, at least 50% of your setup done. If, this way you don't miss your shot, you know. Me personally, I just let you know, this is how I go with my setup. I keep, since I know the size already, I keep my 72 to 77 uh, adapter connected to the camera. This way, if I ever, when I decide that I want to hook up the unit itself, just either I attach the adapter, spin it on, put the square adapter right in, and I'm good to go. This way, I don't lose much time setting up. All right, guys, just to recap again before we uh, finish off here, this is the Benro FH100N. All right, so that comes with the 77 adapter ring, the 77 millimeter adapter ring. If you have a lens that does not fit on a 77, then in this case I have a 72, so I got the ring, the step up ring, okay? And this will easily screw on to the 77 because it is the 72 to 77. Now these, by the way, these go on most, or just about all lenses. This is the basic setup. So these two rings go together. This adapter unit, this square adapter unit, hooks right in, you put the filters in, you get yourself a nice composition, and you take some photos. I hope this helped out. I'm gonna go out and take some photos of this unit. By the way, if you wanna see what my photography looks like, please visit me, check out my profile on Instagram. That's TG from Dubai, TG from Dubai, which stands for the guy from Dubai, obviously. All right, and then you can check out my profile. I'd love for you guys to follow me, check me out. If you like the type of videos that I'm doing, please hit subscribe, hit like, and hit that little bell, and I'll put all the details for everything you see on this table here. I'll put it in the description box below. Thank you again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Salaam alaikum.